Hello guys, today we are going to talk about Excel function Workday and Workday.intl. I will be explaining what is the difference between Workday and Workday.intl. Basically, these formula is going to help you to get the Workday date and you can see in this video. My name is Kapil and I am your Excel tutor. I have 11 years of experience working as data analyst and I will be sharing my experience with you so that you can learn more on Excel functions. I request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel so that I can be in touch with you and can give you some more updates on Excel. Thank you. So let's start on this. So on my screen, you can see at the left side, I have listed the holidays in 2021. Okay. So this function can help you to create the calendars or to get the workday dates. So let's understand how it works. So day one. Okay. So if I want to know the workday one, what will be the date in the January 21? So you can see that first three days are holidays. Okay. And I also consider that Saturday, Sundays are my weekends. So my working days are Monday to Friday. But I should be excluding these holidays and I should be getting the date, which is the working date. Okay. So how you can get that? Once you write this work day, okay, you need to type like this, then start date. Okay. So a start date could be first January 21 and then days. Okay. So days will be one, then holidays, holiday, you can just select these. This formula automatically consider Saturday, Sunday as holiday. Okay. So let's close this and press enter. Now you can see it is showing me the number. So let me change it into the date format. And now you can see for January 21. So my computer is set up on the DDMMYYY format. So you can just work according to your date format. So for January 21 will be the first working date. So I need to fix this date before and then F1. F1 is the first cell. Okay. So dollar one, why I'm putting dollar before one, because first is the row where I have put all the working days. Okay. So I'm just fixing it this. So this B4 to B8, I'm just fixing this as well because these are my holidays and it will not change. So I will be putting enter. Now I just need to drag this to the right side by pressing control plus R key. Okay. Now you can see these hash because of the column width. So let me just adjust the column width. I just double click on this and it is auto adjusted. So now you can see 4 January, 5th January, 6th January, uh, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th is Saturday, Sunday. So you can just click on this calendar and let's see. Uh, here you can see 9th, 10th is the Saturday, Sunday. So it has excluded automatically. 11th January, 12th January, 13th January, 14th, 15th is again holiday and uh, 16th, 17th is Saturday, Sunday. So that is how I got this working dates. Okay, so this formula can work. Now, suppose if you do not have Saturday, Sunday as your weekends, so how that can be worked? So you can just type workday dot intl and then start date. Start date again will be the same. Okay, press F4 and then days. Days again this. Okay, uh, okay, F4. Then again, I need to press F4 because I just want to fix the row, not the column. Then comma, then weekend. So what is weekend? Weekend is Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. So in golf, majorly weekend falls on Friday and Saturday. Okay. So you can just select this. I'm just giving you this example. Or if you think that uh, you have only one day as your weekend or as a holiday, week holiday, so you can use 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, so I'm just putting seven because I'm considering Friday and Saturday as holiday and then holidays. Holidays will be same like this and press F4. Now press enter. 
okay i need to change the format you can just use the format painter or you can just go to this date i'm using format painter once i click on this format painter i'm just dropping this format on this cell okay now i'm just dragging it again okay now you can see 10th is the sunday which is working date for me okay so that is how this workday.intl can work i just want to give you a master trick so suppose you don't want to use these days and you are not aware of this okay and you want to create some different combination so what you can do you can just put inverted commas okay and just put seven times zero okay so e zero will denote the day okay so i put six zeros now it is seven now suppose if i want to put monday as my holiday so i put one and press enter now 5th january will be my first day working date okay so suppose if you want to use sunday as your working uh, weekend then you just put one so i'm just considering tuesday to saturday as my working days and apart from that those will be the weekends okay so you can just use those weekends like this as well so you do not need to use those numbers you just put the inverted comma seven times zero and e zero will denote a day in a sequence manner and it starts from monday so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and wherever you put one it will consider that day as weekend and it will throw the result as per that so you just press this and then control r you can see all the dates have been changed and there is no monday in this calculation so that is how this is going to work if you want to use directly in in one cell okay so after three days or five days what will be the working date so there could be some situation when you want to calculate the working date so you can use this in this manner so work day okay start date like this and three uh, after three days what will be the working date these are my holidays and i just press enter it is again coming in the number format let me change it so now it is showing 6th january 21 and now here i'm going i'm just seeing this 6th january is the third working date so i can see here here i can see third working day is my 6th january okay where i'm considering saturday sunday as my weekend if i use workday.intl and i just put the start date this day is three i can just directly link there weekend and uh, we can let me consider monday or sunday so there is no combination right now you can see here uh, no i don't see okay so what i can do i can just put seven times zero in the inverted comma uh, three five six seven okay so now holidays holidays okay so these are the holidays and let me put monday and sunday as my holiday and then press enter okay let's use the format painter and just you can see 7 january is the third working day when your weekend falls on monday or sunday okay so that is how this is gonna work so that is how you can use this function in your calculation and hope this is gonna help you in different situation if you like this video please do comment please do share and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you